Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Today I'm going to show you how you can style your embedded YouTube videos or uh, Vimeo videos um, using Umbraco as an example. And what I want to do is get this to be the full width of the container that it's in, but maintaining the ratio. So um, what I've done to allow this is I've gone into the data types in the settings. I've gone into the content based content grid layout and I've ticked embed and I've saved that. That's allowed me to then embed a video using the uh, rich content editor, uh, rich text editor, sorry. So in about us, and if we go down to here, so I, I embedded it using the rich content, rich text editor. You can embed using the, the grid editor of embed. So let's have a look what happens when you do that save and publish that so you can see here it goes full width on there let's refresh so again it's just pulled it in like that it's not the full width so it's not been styled for so maybe you've got a client that wants you to style for it like that so this is what I would do so first of all what I would do is just have a look at how it comes out on the page so if we inspect the page And we can see that we have a P tag and then an iframe. So we want to get that to be full width for a start. So what we can do is we can go into the settings and we can go to the style sheets, which is down the bottom here. And then we can go to starter kit styles. And at the bottom of this style sheet, I'm just going to do um, P dot and uh, sorry P and then iframe and then I'll do uh, width 100% so we're going to see that that will take that across there but it won't it won't be the answer for us I think I've got an extra one of them refresh this Right now we have a P and an iframe 100% and that looks like it did in the grid editor. So what, how can we solve that? Well, we can use a little bit of JavaScript, which helps us out. Um, not sorry, not JavaScript, CSS. So if we added a class onto that P tag, I'm just going to open this in the new tab and go to the editing the about us page in the content part. Well, I'm going to, that's a good tip as well. So say if you're using Umbraco and you want to get, you, you need to navigate around, do different things. Maybe you're in the, the settings and you're in the content or you're in two different content pages. Just open a separate tab. You, start, you know, you don't have to keep moving around. You can just do it like this. So if we go to home about us and then we go down to this, um, the one that's in here, I could in theory, put a class on this and I'll show you how to automate this soon but I'm going to put the class of aspect hyphen ratio and I'm going to submit that and I'm going to save this aspect ratio class on the p tag what I'm going to use it for is I'm going to say aspect ratio so I'm going to remove the name of this I'm just going to put in my style of, I keep writing Russian, aspect ratio, take away iframe. And in there, I'm just going to put some styles. So I'm going to say position relative, width is 100%, height is also 100%. And I'm going to say, Oh, sorry, height is zero, not 100%. Height is zero, and padding bottom is 61% for now. So this 61% is the the ratio between the width and the height. The, you'll, you'll see in a moment. And then if I do another class underneath that then, so uh, aspect ratio, iframe, so just another CSS style underneath. So this one, 
is I'm going to do position absolute and then I'm going to put width 100% height 100% And then I'm just going to say left z zero and top zero. And what we'll see is that that will um, fix this for us. So I'll save that, go into About Us, refresh the page, and you can you see uh, it's made. It's given us the video at its full width of the container that it's in and um, it's got a good aspect ratio as well and what we can do as well if we weren't happy with that aspect ratio we could have a little fiddle with the aspect ratio setting let's try and find it first i can't find it oh i, I know so if we go up to here and that we click on the iframe we can see oh no click on aspect ratio we can just adjust that padding so maybe it's quite hard to see like this but maybe um you might want it to be wider than it is tall and things like that so just by um increasing or decreasing that padding bottom setting you can't see that in the window but, but by increasing or decreasing the padding bottom uh, that will make the aspect ratio so it's more of a letterbox or not. So that's this style and so then the, it's well I don't want to have to add that class in every time to my p tags that I do that on. So you can have uh, some JavaScript which will do that for you and it's really simple JavaScript as well. So if we go down to the bottom of here and um, we're already using jQuery so we may as well just carry on with that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say for p iframe dot each and then write a function. And this function is just going to do this dot parent and then add class. And the class name is aspect ratio. I wrote ration again. And I'm going to put that inside a document ready. Document dot ready function. And then just grab that, paste it in there. So now when the page is loaded, it's going to loop through any iframes on the page and it's going to add the class of aspect ratio to its parent. So if we save that and then we can go into the page again, close this and then refresh. We should see that this one below it, it may not get added actually because um, that's not inside a P tag. But if we go into the content again and we click on this and we take that class off and then submit, save and publish again, we should see that it keeps that ratio. Yeah, so it's kept it. So that's good. So it kept the aspect ratio and it will have applied that to it, I'm sure. Yeah, it's added aspect ratio. So that's how I've done it. So now anytime I want to, um, let's just zoom out a bit. Anytime I want to uh, add a new video. So if I add another one below it here and I just do rich text editor and I just use the embed, I can do retrieve. Oh. I'll just get the URL again. I can do retrieve if it's going to wake up. Yep, submit. 
that's going to put that in there save and publish that and then about us refresh and the one that I just added got added in with the full width of the container that I wanted just reset to normal zoom so yeah that's normal zoom so that's how to do it uh, so the main thing is then is just the the little bit of JavaScript to add that to the the p tags and the little bit of uh, CSS to give you a good aspect ratio for any iframes that you uh, use so I hope you enjoyed that video I hope you find it useful especially if you're um, trying to get this out for your client and you're fiddling away with this and you just can't get it to work I hope this is a good solution for you um, or even if you're watching it now you don't need it yet but you might need it in the future then it's something to come back to I will be writing a blog post about it as well just so you've got the code on the page and you can just copy and paste it really alright well thanks for watching please click on like if you like the video subscribe to my channel if you want to watch any more videos and um, leave a comment if you want to ask me anything or comment about the video and also share with others as well um, so thanks ever so much for watching. Bye.